Bangkok's music scene is diverse and eclectic, but when it comes to blues, there's usually one name that you'll hear again and again: Keith Nolan. Well, we're called Cottonmouth, and we started about 10, 12 years ago as under the name Cannonball. And over the years, we've we've had a few changes and stuff. And today. Or cotton mouth, and it's a four four piece blues band. The Irish born music composer and studio session keyboard player has been involved in composing for documentaries, TV shows, and TV commercials for two decades. He started out studying classical piano from the age of five and over the years has performed with many artists, including indigenous Australian rock band Yosu Yindi, Jeff Atchison, Dutch Tilders and Zakia Hooker, daughter of legendary blues artist John Lee Hooker. I wrote a little this morning, he also hosts a regular TV segment called Beyond the Lines, where he catches up with famous authors and explores Bangkok's nightlife on his video segment, Access All Areas. But when he's not composing or hosting programs, Keith is doing what he loves most, performing with his blues band, Cotton Mouth. Black Baxter. I'm from San Francisco Bay Area. I moved here to work with Keith Nolan, in fact, and uh, Cottonmouth. Keith is a, he's a strong leader, uh, just a wonderful vocalist, uh, plays piano great. Um, really a pleasure to be able to support him as a bassist in the band. My name is Takashi Sawai from Tokyo, Japan. I've been here 16 years. I play with him uh, uh, more than 10 years. I'm Andy, I'm from the UK. I'm the guy at the back that keeps it all together. He's brilliant, you know, he splits everything four ways and uh, he's a very, very nice chap. Cottonmouth carries a strong pulse and covers a lot of ground, from Delta to Texas, and their originality is ever-present when they perform live. We've, we've written quite a, quite a few songs over the years and we're, we're currently working on a new album um, which we're hoping to record during this year. Throughout the week you'll find Cottonmouth rocking the house at venues like Bangkok's chilled Whiskers Bar in Sukhumvit Soy 23 the laid-back Apotheca in Sukhumvit Soy 11, and above the crowds, in the clouds, at Vertigo 2, atop Bangkok's iconic Banyan Tree Hotel. You can make the most of the stunning rooftop venue and indulge in both a unique menu and an ultra-cool array of cocktails while being transported by the blues. Right now, it's really vibrant. The, the venues are, are getting better, more sophisticated, and hip. And you know, I, I could count at least ten or twelve Thai blues bands that I know currently playing in Bangkok as well. And there's there's several venues dedicated to blues, and there's some really cool venues like here at Vertigo. But the, the view is of Bangkok is spectacular, and and you get to see how how cosmopolitan Bangkok really is when you see it from from here. It, it's incredible. Cottonmouth now has two original albums and more on the way. Discover the blues in Bangkok with Keith Nolan and Cottonmouth.